Hey guys, this is John, and today we're going to be installing our leather lever wrap cover on our Marlin 1894, chambered in 44 Magnum. Um, for those of you who haven't ever shot a lever gun, one of the things that is challenging, is, especially in cold weather, is when you're cycling the lever, it tends to be kind of hard on the tops of your knuckles, uh, especially if you're doing any volume shooting. Even during warm weather, there's something about steel right here on your hand that uh, just isn't that comfortable. So an old trick probably derived from uh, cowboy days is to take a piece of leather like this and wrap your lever so that it's a little easier on your hand when you're shooting. And it's just overall a little more comfortable. So today we've got a kit that we got from D4 Guns. Uh, it comes with two different colors of leather, depending on what type of gun that you have. This this darker leather looks really nice on a stainless steel gun. A kind of classic uh, brown looks really nice on a uh, more traditional blued gun. But the kit comes with a couple different types of uh, sinew, waxed thread, and two leather stitching needles, which are really perfect for the job. If you don't have these, uh, it'll it'll make your life uh, difficult. So this is a great kit, uh, and we just wanted to show you guys how to install it. So first off, when you get your kit, your lever might be a little different in terms of size, but the kit includes a length that can be trimmed depending on how much leather you want to use. Some people like to stop it right here on this edge. Others like to continue around this curve and get it all the way to the to this corner. Um, it just is, is personal preference, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks so that when you're installing it, um, you can navigate this process. For this one, I think we're going to round the corner, uh, but as you can see, this lever on the 1894 is kind of typical of a Winchester 1894 as well in terms of its size, its width, its length. But what we have is a piece of leather that's a little too long. That's okay. That's why we have scissors. So what we want to do is size it up. When you put it in to the lever, kind of get it, get it situated, eyeball where it's going to go. In this case, it's about two notches too long. So we're going to trim this piece of leather. So I'm going to take a note right here. This is about where I want to trim. And I'm just going to trim it. I'm just going to cut it off right before the other holes. Try to get this nice and straight. It's okay if it's not nice and straight. It's not, not a big deal. Once it's on the gun, it's very... Um, it's, it's, it's not going to be noticeable. So another thing that I like to do, if you have some real sharp scissors, is kind of round these corners. Just adds a nice touch. I don't know if you can see this, but I just try to round these corners a little bit. When it's on the gun, you'll see it just, it's kind of some, some polishing. Makes it look a little nicer with some rounded corners on it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, once it's all cinched up and on the gun, it's barely noticeable, but it's just a, just a nice thing to do. So now that we got our leather all trimmed up and ready to install on the gun, um, we're going to start the next step, which is stitching it. So you're going to want to grab those needles. I didn't go over this step, but in this kit, they provide you with two needles and uh, a few different types of sinew. You're just going to want to tie these needles on either end of this sinew thread and... Um, this is what you're going to use to stitch the sinew thread through the leather wrap. These needles make it super easy. If you don't have these things, uh, it just makes your life difficult. Um, so let's get started stitching this on. So you're going to want to take your leather and situate it here on your lever. And it's just like stitching your shoes or tying your shoes, stitching the laces. Um, you're going to want to get each end started and the trick is you want to make 
sure that the laces are the same length after you've pulled them through and done this first stitch. So I want to get this started like so. And then here you can see my laces are not really the same length. So I'm going to want to pull that tight until the thread is the same length on the needles, just like you would tying your shoes, right? Almost there. All right. So here we got our needles ready to go. First stitch is done. And then it's just like tying your shoes. This is also called a baseball stitch. Uh, if you can think back of how a baseball with its red laces is stitched on the leather cover, we're doing the same thing. It's kind of a crossover stitch. And here you can see kind of first the first go at it. Don't worry about cinching it really tight or pulling it real tight. Um, this thread that's been provided is waxed and it cinches up real nice. It's artificial sinew. Um, something to note too when you do have these needles, just after each pull, you kind of want to make sure it's staying there on your needle. This process is maybe like, you know, 10 minute long process from uh, opening up the kit to finish installing it. You can see how it's coming along. I can't stress the importance of the type of leather. If you end up trying to do this yourself, um, one thing that's nice is the thickness of the leather with these kits has been um, specifically selected because the inside diameter of this lever if you've ever shot a lever gun using gloves, there's not much space for it unless you have a larger leather uh, lever loop. Um, but there's there's no need for real thick leather in it. If you ever do shoot your gun without gloves or with gloves, that big thick leather just kind of gets in the way. So this is this is a nice nice thickness. So here we are, we're almost done with our stitching. Again, these needles just really make the job easy. And they, they aren't uh, sharp tip needles either, which is nice. Um, these are leather stitching needles. See how it's coming along, how sharp that's looking. All right, so we're at the very end with our last stitch. We're just going to fi finish this last set of holes with a typical stitch and then I'll show you the tying off process. So here we are at the end. This is when you start kind of cinching it. This is some strong thread. It's looking pretty good. And with this last stitch, you're just going to do a couple overhand knots. So I'll try to show this, but you're just going to tie some overhead knots and then we're going to tuck it in to the bottom. You know, you really want to try to get this tight. You don't want it coming off on you. Three or four is good. I'm going to do four on this. And you can take your, your needles off at this point if you wanted. Give that a good cinch. All right, now it's time to just trim trim off these tag ends. So I'm trying to show you this. I'm just going to want to try to snip as close as you can there, but leave a little bit. So 
not right up against the knot. <clears throat> and then I like to just kind of take this needle and kind of start to work its way in so it's hidden. It's okay if you have a tag end anyways. There you have it. There's finished product. Nice and clean. It's a really nice looking leather wrap right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. These things are available for purchase on d4guns.com. Um, they also have them on eBay and a few other places online, but they're steel. Um, and it really does add a nice touch to your gun. It just really makes it look nice. Highly recommend it.